again, Alyssa. If you notice the filter on here is different, it's because I am still using my Samsung Galaxy S9. Uh, I end up adjusting some of the filters on here. I think I probably have like maybe two or three filters set up on here and everything to brighten it up, but in this video, I'm going to show you what I got at Walmart last night. Or, yeah, what I got at Walmart uh, on Sunday and what I got at Bath and Body Works today. And for all of you who don't know this beautiful little furball, this is Harley, who is born on Star Wars Day. Yeah, I'm surprised. You happy now? Are you questioning my kitty ears that I got at the Renaissance last year? Or two years ago? I think she just wanted her back scratched. Look at this. Happy now? Yep. She just wants her back scratched. That's my dog for you. Taking advantage of my nails that I got done today. You were so spoiled. Go lay down, please. No, go lay down. Harley. Go lay down. Go lay down, please. Thank you. Go lay down. Taking my jacket off before she ends up taking that for me. Lovely. Don't know how that got on my jacket, but uh, start off the, back to the main topic. Still can't figure out why one ear is tilted, but just gonna go with it. Can you go lay down, please? Doing some stretching, because my arms hurt, but yeah. To start off with the stuff that I got at Walmart last night, I end up getting this five-piece car kit that, from what you see, comes with the passenger and driver side seats, steering wheel cover, stay away from the bag, Harley. Harley. It also comes with a visor organizer and an air freshener, which I did not realize the, for the scent. It says Fresh Roads didn't know that so uh, the reason why I got this is because I think the seats in my car might be messed up I'm not completely sure can't really remember I only sat in the passenger seat a couple of times with my uncle when it came to going to Jack in the Box late at night in town but yeah this was actually Let's see how much it was. It was uh, where is it? Where is it? It was twenty six seventy four at Walmart. It was either I didn't see this one the first time I went, but I ended up getting this one because I was gonna go with turquoise in my car, but I decided like okay, if I don't want to use the turquoise steering wheel cover or if it doesn't fit I still have my Harley Quinn one that my cousin didn't want that she gave me to to use so I decided to get something to match that and everything so this is one of them that I got from Walmart the other stuff is small items I got some juicy fruit gum pieces which I think are in my little backpack I end up getting some juicy fruit gum because I like to chew gum and I haven't had this flavor in a long time. The other reason why we went to Walmart other than the steering wheel cover was to get my boyfriend his birthday present. He wanted to get a new stereo but we're Actually, yeah, he wanted to get a new stereo for his car, 
that had Bluetooth and uh, Bluetooth connections in it. But the he couldn't find the one that he was looking for. And plus, I think the stereo in his car is bigger, so he would have had to get one of the almost two hundred dollar ones. So instead of getting that, he got floor mats for his car and everything. And, uh, So, the main reason why we actually went to Walmart was for his birthday present, for me to get more white out. These were 97 cents each, and it's the big brand, not the lick, not the paper made. I didn't even know that I got a different one, but it has the little sponge applicator, so still better. That's what I was hoping for anyway. We went to Walmart to also get stuff for her but she's over here just investigating the TV I don't know why TV's not even on and she's just staring at it now she's over here wanting to get all rubbed and loved on by my nails I think the animals just love women because they get their nails done do you just love mommy because of her nails do you just love me because I'm scratching you with my nails? I take that as a yes. Go lay down, please. Thank you. But yeah, we end up getting some shedding shampoo um, or shed control shampoo for her because she sheds so freaking much. Like, we literally have to sweep around her cage every day, basically, from how much she sheds. But since we used that shampoo on her last night, she hasn't been shedding much. And also, the brush that I got her, I will get that right now to show y'all. Yeah. I've been meaning to get one of these brushes for her for a long time because once it collects the fur, you just press this and it moves it to the front and everything so we got that for her I decided to get some other stuff as well but I didn't really actually mean to get it just uh, to get prepared I also got some three dollar items and I said three like thrust three one, two, three. Three dollar uh, St. Patrick's Day stuff at Walmart. I got a giant sequence bow. I also have some little pins to pin on my apron for work. And what it says is let the sh shenanigans begin you're my pot of gold luck there's a rainbow little leprechaun on this one and then on the other one it says happy st. Patrick's Day Irish fur day too cute to pinch which I still have a feeling someone's gonna try to pinch me kiss me I'm Irish and then a shamrock a three leaf clover. And what I talked him into getting me because I did not see it last time and it's something Harry Potter based but it's for the series uh, Fantastic Beasts and where to find them but this one is from the sequel sequel sorry uh, the sequel, Crimes Against Grindelwald. It's a baby Niffler. It's a little baby Niffler keychain. It's so cute. It's so cute. I thought it was so cute, so I had to get it. But yeah. That's what I got at Walmart. don't know what he did with his receipt from Walmart because that's what has the Niffler on it, but 
time for Bath and Body Works. Time for the Bath and Body Works one. Um, there, I actually, I'm just going to tell you how much I spent first. Uh, the total was, let's see, where is it? Hmm. It doesn't show the full total, but it shows it after I put uh, did the coupon, but it was uh, the full total before I did the $10 uh, coupon, yeah, 10 off for every 30 you spend. I almost spent like freaking $40 when I was only supposed to go there to get some hand sanitizer and possibly more little holders, but yeah. With the with that coupon, it made it down to twenty eight forty seven. So, kind of happy about that. Um, I recommend everyone to try to keep a lookout in their emails if they do go to Bath and Body Works to uh, use those coupons when you can, because it's been a while since I've been. So, I was long overdue to get some more hand sanitizer since I'm like down to one of them and everything but with this I end up getting let's see I thought I had more than that in the hand sanitizer The hand sanitizers are actually five for six dollars, but I end up getting in one extra just in case. Uh, I don't like the scent of some of them, but I one of the unexpected items I got that I didn't really know of was this diamond shimmer mist called Hello Beautiful from Bath and Body Works. Uh, this thing was $16 and with the coupon it made it uh, $11.46 so it took $4.36 off on it. The other two things I got was the hand sanitizer holders. I got two turtle ones to use for when it comes to my vacation which won't be until December but thought it would be cute I got this complete turtle one which was $7.75 and with the coupon it made it $5.64 so it took off $2.11 for it this one doesn't light up like my octopus one that I had but I thought it was cute. You want to see the turtle? Oh, oh. She's not even scared of it. But I have this other one that was also. Oh, crap. This one was actually cheaper. Hmm. Go lay down. Yeah. This turtle one has the turtle on one side and then where you can see what scent your hand sanitizer is on the other and this one was $5.75 but with the coupon it made it $4.18 so it only took $1.57 off the hand sanitizers I got one of them is one that I got last time but I got it again because my boyfriend likes it but I mean, rarely using it because it's a strong scent. I got the black cherry um, Merlot. I think that's how it's pronounced. I had it. I had this one last time. I think I still have like maybe that much of it left in the bottle. Um, I got at the beach, which has a mermaid tail and the mermaid holding a 
coconut. This one, I think I couldn't smell what it was, but yeah. Yeah, this one's a good scent. I already know what this one smells like because it's a strong scent. I got Honolulu Sun hand sanitizer that has a, a toucan on it. Can't remember if I could smell this one or not, but I have this one. And I just hit myself in the face with my nails. I don't think I can smell this one. The other one I got is a peach Bellini, Bellini scent. I've never had a peach scent one, so I thought it was kind of cool. This one I might actually use more because it actually smells good. I got one that is called Fashionable Latte. And this one smells pretty good too. I remember. Yep. It has like a vanilla, French vanilla scent to it and that's what I use in my coffee. I also got this cucumber melon scented one. Yeah. This one is pretty good scent too. I have to put my hand over it so y'all can see it so the light doesn't really reflect off of it so badly. But yeah, that's what I got at Bath and Body Works. And like I said, I really recommend y'all to keep a lookout for those coupons if you actually signed up for the email stuff for it. The email letters but yeah I basically bought nine items there we also end up getting uh, some Chinese food from there which I might end up finish eating later like later on tonight and everything I think she is laying by the door yep she's by the door I don't know what's up with her with being by the door, but yeah. That's all I have for you today. Can you stop licking my elbow? Yes, I'm talking to you. Now she decides to lick my fingers. Can you lay down, please? Thank you. But yeah, that's what I got at Walmart and at Bath and Body Works. So. If you'd like to see more videos like this, let me know and I will uh, be eventually giving y'all hints to where I will be going for a vacation when it gets closer to it, so keep a lookout for that and everything. It's going to be a little awkward going to this place in the winter because you would expect it to be cold, but... From what people told me, it's actually still pretty cool there and everything, but like I said in the previous video, this is going to be my first time going to this place, so y'all have a nice evening and catch you in the next video like this. Bye.